Dripping into Valerie Miles' veins is a cancer vaccine destined for her immune system. Valerie is one of three brain cancer patients who are the first volunteers to try this first-of-its-kind drug developed at the Providence Cancer Center. We're able to compare what we see in the patients with what we saw in the mice, and it's, as an immunologist, that's really exciting. This is Valerie's fourth infusion. She has experienced a mild fever and some nausea. This first dose has been safe. Patients have had some symptoms, which are good. We want to see some sign that the immune system is activated, um, but they haven't been too toxic, so that's been very good. Providence Cancer Center is working on this project with the Duro Biotech of Berkeley, California. Joining Badgett and Dr. Marka Crittenden on the vaccine trial team is neurosurgeon Pankaj Gore. He considers volunteers like Valerie and Steve Mashad heroic trailblazers. They're doing a very courageous thing. They're also faced with a very daunting diagnosis. Median life expectancy for someone with their type of brain cancer, glioblastoma, is only 14 months. This beaver baseball believer feels lucky to have survived four years and hopes this new drug, known as ADU-623, will give him more time. It's supposed to be something that will prevent the cancer from coming back. The study will potentially enroll up to 38 patients. They've completed the standard treatments of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. It's hoped the vaccine will paint a target on the tumor cells, which will then not escape an immune system that has been taught to seek out and destroy them. The difficult thing, the immune system is always conducting what's called surveillance, so looking for cells that have gone haywire and start dividing. The body's radar, however, doesn't recognize the silent, stealthy cancer cells hiding in the brain. Through a process called immune suppression, the tumor prevents the immune system from sounding the alarm. To trick the body into attacking, Badgett and his colleagues have put into the vaccine genes, which are only found in cancer cells. Those genes are combined with the bacterium Listeria, which the immune system knows is dangerous. Once alerted, killer T cells attack. The immune system can differentiate between those tumor cells and normal cells and just go pick those off without damaging the surrounding brain tissue. And the immune system stays active against those cancer cells for the life of the patient. The sports bar owner has added up the odds and believes the 10 hour infusion day is time well spent. Obviously I'm doing it for myself, but I'm, I'm hoping that it will benefit a whole bunch of people. Valerie's doctor said she'd be a good candidate for the phase one trial, the mother of four teenagers. Four teenagers, 15 to 18, and uh, yeah, they're my life, and I've got grandkids hopefully one day, so. We want to give them realistic hope, and uh, we think that this uh, trial is one possibility. Okay. All of the volunteers have now received four doses of the vaccine. It's a choice they didn't have before. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.